It's safe to assume that sometime in the near future, Mount St. Helens will violently erupt again. But when that will be is a little harder to predict. And since seismic activity is just a part of the nature of the volcano, we have to be careful with assuming that a series of earthquakes means an eruption is going to happen. It turns out these rock-breaking earthquakes are common at active volcanoes like Mount St. Helens. This type of earthquake is produced when the rocks fracture as magma is forcing its way toward the surface. Earthquakes can also be made as magma beneath or within the volcano pressurizes the magma and the surrounding rock. But both types of earthquakes show that magma is on the move beneath or within a volcano. Scientists monitor the location and depth of these earthquakes to determine whether or not they're the kind that signal an eruption. Deeper earthquakes, around two miles beneath the surface or deeper than that, can be a sign that magma is rising beneath the volcano. While shallow earthquakes, the ones that are about 1.2 miles or shallower, are a sign that magma is moving inside the volcano and closer to the surface. The closer the magma is to the surface, the more likely that an eruption may occur. Because these small magnitude earthquakes are occurring at depth, they are generally believed to be those associated with the pressurization of the magma transport system, which is likely caused by the arrival of additional magma, a process known as recharge. In these types of events, magma slowly rises through the crust and accumulates in a reservoir located somewhere between two and six miles below sea level. The recharge events can occur when the magma enters the upper reservoir, and this increases stresses that lead to earthquakes. This isn't the only time since the 1980 eruption that Mount St. Helens has rumbled, and it certainly won't be the last. But it also doesn't always mean an eruption is going to happen, at least not anytime soon. There's no denying that Mount St. Helens is a very active volcano, and possibly in our lifetime will erupt again. This is an image by the USGS on May 18th, 1980 at 7 a.m. showing Mount St. Helens and it says totally clear with no activity. And then that one large earthquake occurred and Vancouver, Vancouver, this is it. But if we expand the scale and look at the seismicity between 2008 to 2024, we can see that the activity is consistent with the normal background levels. Thus, the USGS says Mount St. Helens is green or normal. And with that green light, I'm going to head back out and explore Mount St. Helens and the surrounding Cascade volcanoes so I can continue to bring you more volcanic and geology adventures here at Let's Go Geo. I'll see you guys on the next virtual adventure.